Assalamualaikum Mrs. Umaira Alright So how are you today Mrs. Umaira? Fine, thank you Okay, so I am Dr. Hamizan uh, Today I will perform pelvic examination on you So first of all I will explain the instruction when I what actually I want to do during the pelvic examination Okay, Mrs. Umaira you might feel discomfort during the examination. If you feel uncomfortable, you can tell her, this is my chaperon. Okay, so can we start now? Okay, Ms. Umaira, can you please lie down? I will just inspect the patient if she looks anxious or tired or she if she's in any pain. Next, I would uh, check the radial parts of the patient and also to check if there's any swelling in the hands and uh, to check the nails if there's any clubbing. Next, I will go to the face to check the conjunctival pallor if there's any pallor on the face and then if there's any rashes in the pain or any redness, uh, any bruises on the face. Next, I will go to the lips and check if there's any central cyanosis in the lips. Okay. Next, I will also check the lymph node if there's any lymph node swelling on the neck. And if there's any thyroid enlargement, if there's any enlargement on the abnormal enlargement on the neck. Next, I will inspect the leg of the patient to check if there's any peripheral edema in the leg. And uh, finally, I'll take the blood pressure of the patient with the temperature and also body mass index with the height and the weight to check if, the, if everything is normal. Now I'm going to do palpation. First, I'm going to palpate the upper lateral edge of the fundus by using my both hands and place it on the upper part of the fundus. This has to be done in order to feel the fetal part. And also, always note that if there's any guarding tenderness or any resistance. Next, I'm going to place my both hands on the each side of the fundus in order to feel the fetal part. The deeper I have to palpate in order to feel the fetal part, it means larger amount of amniotic fluid is present. Next, I will place my right hand on the right uh, on the left side of the abdomen of the patient in order to feel the back of the fetus. The fuller part is known to be the back of the fetus. So when doing these three palpations, you have to face the patient's head or the face. Next, you have to turn around and face the patient's feet. And now I will use my left hand to put at the left side of the patient and my right hand on the right side of the patient in order to feel the presenting part. So usually you can feel the head at the presenting part, which is the presenting part in cephalic presentation. If 50% of the head is already inside the pelvis, it is known to be engaged. So we are almost done. The last part is to auscultate the fetal heartbeat. I'm going to auscultate the fetal heartbeat by using the pinac telescope by placing it on the anterior surface of the shoulder of the fetus. I will place it using my hand and I will listen to the heartbeat 
by using my ears by placing my head on the top of the peanut scale. So when we are doing this all these steps of exam, physical examination, always remember to look at the facial expression and the verbal gesture of the patient in order to see any signs of discomfort or anything. So finally you should thank the patient and close the back of the room. Thank you so much. Never do vaginal exam if there is bleeding from the vagina. To begin, wash your hands with soap and water. And then, dab your hands with a clean cloth. Then wear sterilized gloves. Ask the woman to bend her knees and open her legs. Do not force them to open their legs and be patient. The cervix may start to change. It can soften in and dilate a little, especially in mothers whom already has babies. Early in labor, the cervix may be positioned towards back of the vagina. As the labor progresses, the cervix will move towards front and it is easy to reach. Feel the consistency of the cervix, whether it is firm or soft. As the labor progresses, it will become very soft. Next, check the thickness of effacement of the cervix. In early labor, it may be thick like a tube in few centimeters long. The tube shortens as the cervix effaces eventually, becoming a thin band around your fingers. Now the cervix is fully effaced. At the beginning, the cervix will fit a fingertip. One centimeter will fit one finger tightly. Two centimeters fit one finger loosely. Three centimeters fit two fingers tightly. Four centimeters is two loose fingers. Five centimeters is little more open than two loose fingers. The fingers will start to open further and further at 6, 7, 8 and 9 centimeters. At 10 centimeters, 
the cervix is completely open and fully dilated. At the end of vaginal exam, gently wash the woman's genital area with clean water. Vaginal exam is shortest way to know if a labor progressing normally.